Good afternoon and welcome to another great broadcast of Houston Real Estate Today, Houston's most informative hour of great real estate information. I'm your host, Steve Levine, publisher of Real Estate Executive and Builder Architect Magazines, and we've got a great show today. You know, I've got a very simple formula, great guests with great information, makes a great show. And we've got a terrific show. You're not going to want to move off this channel now for one second. Got a phenomenal show. Uh, for our focus on the show today is about Houston real estate today. Always the topic because that's the, uh, the theme of the show. We're going to talk about the hot Sugarland area in Fort Bend with two of, of Sugarland's hottest realtor, realtors in the business, Don and Sherry Burns. I know Sherry's hot, I know that. <laughs> and we're going to talk about new homes and great new home product with my dear friend Rochelle Barrow, who was on our first broadcast. Thank and you. Uh, about what Royce Builders is up to. And we brought my friend and partner Andy Ballard is on the show to talk about technology and this blogging phenomenon. Everybody's talking about blogging and he's the first one ever mentioned the word to him. I wasn't sure if he didn't feel well, if that's really a really a word. And Andy's with Marketing Dynamics and is the Executive Vice President of uh, Steve Levine Real Estate Media. But what a week I've had. Boy, I've yet to be a real media Media personality. Monday, I was on Stephen Kay's show, Life, Business, and Money, talking about some of the basics that I've learned from my top real estate agents who've been on the cover of the magazine about uh, positive attitude, customer service, and daily marketing. And was on his show on Monday. Tuesday, I was interviewed by Fox 26 TV to uh, about a the Houston economy and how it affects my business and my family. And now today, we're live on the internet. That's the biggest. That's the biggest antenna in the whole world, and we're heard all over the all over the world today with this radio broadcast. If you know somebody wants to hear the show or needs to hear the show, you can go tell me go to HoustonRealEstateToday.com and click on the CNN logo, and they'll be on online and listening to our show. All shows are archived on HoustonRealEstateToday.com. All this because of technology, and I'm just not a technology whiz, but luckily I've got a partner who is. We'll be talking to him later. Uh, the, the YouTube video, the radio show is online. The radio, Stephen K's broadcast is online on my website at uh, HoustonRealEstateToday.com. And then we're live on the internet, and boy, technology sure has changed our every business, but particularly the real estate business. And I'm sure Don, who started his career in the in the early 70s with a builder and, and bought his first franchise in the 70s, it became Remax in the 1990s. We're going to talk to you in a minute. I'm sure he remembers back when the MLS book was as big as the Manhattan Yellow Pages, maybe bigger. And uh, and I remember when I was in real estate, had the first fax machine. The challenge was we had nobody to fax to, actually. But <laughs> technology's come a long way. In the 1994, at the National Association of Realtors Convention. There's but one website up, and most real estate agents said, we'll never use that because we don't have a computer. Boy, we come a long way in, in uh, a dozen or more years. But, uh, you know, my question is, has technology, uh, it, technology replaced soft touch? Is a emailed thank you, thank you note, is that better than a handwritten thank you note? I don't think so. Well, my first guest today, Don and Sherry Burns of Remax Fine Properties, have integrated the latest technology with a blog of their own and websites and into their own approach for their soft touch. They personally use their blessings to bless so many other people, not just in, in real estate, but all people. And they're just really great people. I've interviewed over 70 top real estate agents for the cover of Real Estate Executive Magazine, and I can tell you there's no more wonderful, sweeter, or generous people in the whole world than Don and Sherry Burns. What a pleasure it is to have you on the show, guys. Thank, Thank you very much for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. And really my yes, pleasure. Steve. My Thanks pleasure. For I had to book them early on, buddy. They weren't available just right away. So it's, it's taken this, this long to get them on the show. Thank you. We're glad to be here. We're excited about the market. Well, we're going to talk about the Sugarland market in just a minute. My, my next guest is Rochelle Barrow. Talk about a warm heart. And somebody I've got a serious crush on. I'm, I'm sorry, Barbara, but she knows that already. Rochelle Barrow is the Realtor Relations Director with RoyceBuilders.com, also on the Publishers Advisory Board of Real Estate Executive. And uh, equally as generous, and I can tell you that Royce Builders is just first class in everything they do. 
from how they handle their clients, how they handle their vendors, how they handle consumers. They have some amazing people on site, and I don't know what you feed them, but the most positive and friendliest people I've ever met. What do you feed those on site people? It's a secret, Steve. I can't tell you. Well, maybe we may find <laughs> maybe out after later. the show. <laughs> but uh, Royce is one has captured the heart of of home buyers and the real estate community because of their attention to detail and their passion for providing excellence in everything they do. Thank you for being on the show today, Rochelle. Thank you again for having me. My next guest is no stranger to the show, but usually he's not on the air. I never have enough time for him. <laughs> Andy Valadez with Marketing Dynamics is my partner, and uh, one of the reasons that we have a blog, and I've got a website to showcase my top cover stories and a lot of great information. We're going to talk to him about the blogging phenomenon. Andy is the president and, and CEO of Marketing Dynamics. He champions the value of, of marketing and celebrating what marketing does for companies. Works with a lot of technologists. Yes, that's a real word. Real estate professionals, uh, movie makers, media personalities. Do I come in one of those, Andy? I hope so. Yes, you do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, business owners and networkers to help them achieve uh, the return on investment they're looking for in their marketing. And there's no question of what Andy personally has added to my business with the magazine and the blog. He's going to tell you some great features I normally don't have time for. What a great show we've got lined up from hot Sugarland area to terrific real estate information to information about the best in home building and technology and blogging. It's all going to be on this show. But we turn our attention first to Don and Sherry Burns of Remax Fine Properties and they are Sugarland experts. Uh, Don started his career again in the early 70s, went from home building to residential real estate, had his own franchise, got involved with the Remax franchise as an associate broker, and uh, pretty much he's an icon within Remax. Has uh, Chief Remax uh, Chairman's uh, Chairman Circle, is uh, recognized as Houston Business Journal, the top 25 team, I think at number 22 for the last year. And they're on my blog as a video when they won that uh, that achievement. And Remax Hall of Fame, and it just doesn't get any better with, for people with a tremendous track record for real estate and great hearts and caring people. And I'm just so pleased to have you on the show. Tell me, Don, about uh, how you see the Houston real estate market today. I want to share you share about that too, but I'm, we're excited about the market. and. Uh, we hope that our competitors keep reading about the bad news because it's not bad with us. It's uh, It's been very, very good, very dynamic, and we're still excited about the business and the real estate business in the Houston area. You know, Houston has the number one job market in the United States. Last year, more than 75,000 jobs were created here in Houston. That brought in over 100,000 new people to Houston. You know, with, with statistics like that, that's what drives the market, and the market is great in Houston. In Houston, particularly in Sugar Land, it is a buyer's market. And uh, any time that there are um, uh, just below six months inventory, and in the Sugar Land market, there's below three months inventory. And uh, our market is just really very good. I know that people here all over the United States, how, how depressed the market is. That's not us. That's we're, not us. We're blessed to be in, in the Houston market. And people, what you hear on the national uh, national media about how bad it is, uh, that's really not meant for you. It's, uh, it's meant for uh, everybody else. But we're, we've got a great market in Houston. Don, I noticed you've got the CRS designation. And uh, I know that stands for Certified Residential Specialist. What does that mean to, the, to consumers, to home buyers and sellers? First, let me point out that only 4% of realtors nationwide have that designation, and the designation only goes to those with more experience, more education, more professionalism, and more production. And I think every consumer deserves to have the best, and we're, the CRS gives us kind of a leg up on any other, other realtor that does not have that designation. It uh, just shows the professionalism that they deserve and they should get. and, and uh, that's owed them. Excellent. Well, I know you provide the utmost in customer service for your, your clients, for your sellers, and one of those services is home staging. We've talked about that before, but those who 
might have missed that, missed that broadcast. Tell us a little about what staging is and and how it, how it helps a home seller sell their home faster through your services. You know, last year we sold 99 homes, and I know that's one of the reasons why we sold so many homes is because we make our houses look better than anything else on the market. You know, people come into our houses and they're staged. The whole house looks like a model home. New home buyers are going out and they're looking at model homes. Well, you know, pre-owned home, you know, people in the, in the pre-owned home market are also out looking at model homes. And they have that certain expectation for what a house should look and like. And you have to compete. And sometimes you have to have somebody else take a look at your home because that, that foil wallpaper that was hot in the 70s that you still have, and sometimes putting too much in a room, I mean, you well, simply it's don't, just all you about simply first impressions, isn't it? it? That's exactly right. And it's like having a first date, you know, there and you it has to shine. When people walk in, you know, we get people to uh, paint out the red walls and make it to where anyone can see themselves in your house to really kind of depersonalize that house so right. somebody else can see themselves living in your house, taking out your photographs. Good, good point. But Don, let me ask you, the Sugarland market seems to be pretty strong, obviously. Um, how do you see it now and where do you see it going? Well, just uh, to give you an example of how things are going, in Harris County, which is still a very hot market where Houston is, of course, uh, there's a 5.9 month inventory. We're still in a buyer's market, and I mean a seller's market, excuse me, a seller's market in the Houston area. But in Fort Bend County, where Sugarland is, it's 4.9 months. And if you get into uh, specifics about the first colony area, just, just our particular area in the uh, MLS, we have a 3.4 month supply. So we're going gangbusters in Sugarland. And Sugarland is a wonderful place to live. It's ranked number three by the uh, Money Magazine as the best places to live. And, and people are there. flocking here. You lived there and raised a family there for over 35 years in Sugarland and Fort Bend. That's correct. We have watched it grow from, from right at 9,000 people to 129,000 people. There, and there we did go. our part in that. <laughs> Well, those, obviously, Sugarland, a hot area. We hear a lot about uh, the shaking down in the, the real estate or shaking out of the real estate industry in other parts of the country, uh, certainly Arizona and California, Florida, et cetera. Um, they're affecting uh, all kind of lows and, and, and home values and such. Tell me what effect does this have here? Well, I point out about the professionalism that's needed in this business, and there, unfortunately, are a lot of people in the real estate business today that are not really committed to it like they should be. They're not uh, full-time professionals. And I think you're going to see a lot of realtors leaving the business or people who have their real estate license now letting their license go. They're deciding that it's not worth the extra fees if they're not doing the production. And, and so these part-timers and, and folks that are not really doing a good job are not going to be around to... Uh, to survive and the strong, the strong survive, and tough times don't last, but tough people do. From Robert Schuler, um, I know you work with a, a great team. Tell me how the, that team benefits your consumers. Our team Sorry. is absolutely wonderful. Our team consists of Don and I. Uh, we have two buyers agents. We have a uh, customer service. Uh, she's our client representative and takes care of all of our listings. We also have a closing coordinator. We also have another broker of record that comes in and also helps out. Our team provides the support that our clients not only need, but they also deserve. Working with an individual agent just doesn't cut it anymore. When she's working with someone else, she's not working for you. Absolutely. Well, Don, what's your back to you for a minute and tell me about that, what that REMAX franchise has been. REMAX is one of the most powerful names in real estate across the country and you can't uh, argue with 19 out of 20 something names on the Houston Business Journal book of lists or REMAX agents. What does the franchise mean to you and your consumers? Well the thing about REMAX is you've got the name recognition behind you. Everybody knows who REMAX is and it's taken 35 years of, of getting there and, and all the advertising they do and, and so forth. And, and again, it, you have to be kind of a cut above a regular agent. It, you have to pay your own fees. It costs you a lot of money to be in the REMAX system. But you also get a lot from it in all the experience that you share with other people. 
who freely share it. It's amazing. You go to a convention and, and they'll say, this is how I did it. And there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. Re max stands advice. for results to the max, doesn't it? Absolutely. I think so. And especially with the Don and Sherry Burns team of uh, Remax Buying Properties. We're about to go to our first break, but I know everybody wants to know how to get a hold of you. Real quick, phone number and email. Okay, our phone number, our direct line is 281-491-6274. And very simply, don at donburns.com. What a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much. We'll be back real in just a few minutes with uh, another great segment with Rochelle Barrow of RoyceBuilders.com. So don't you go away. You listen to Houston Real Estate Today.